The crate in this problem is at rest on a horizontal floor. It has a mass of 250 kilograms. When someone pushes on it with a force P, static friction pushes back in the opposite direction just as hard, so that the crate doesn't move. We're told how hard a person has to push to finally make it move, and then how hard they have to push to keep it moving at a constant velocity, and we're asked to find the coefficients of friction. In almost any problem dealing with friction, we're going to need to know the normal force. So let's find that first by drawing a free body diagram and solving for the normal force. There are four forces acting on the crate. Its weight is straight down. The normal force is perpendicular to the surface, so that's straight up in this case. The pushing force is to the right, and static friction is to the left. When we apply Newton's second law, summing forces in the vertical direction, we see that it equals zero because there's no vertical acceleration. Adding the vertical forces from the free body diagram shows us that the normal force acting on the crate equals its weight. And now we can write down the expression for the maximum static friction force. The highest value that static friction can take is mu sub s times n, where mu sub s is the coefficient of static friction and n is the normal force. This problem tells us that that value equals 980 newtons. Solve this for the coefficient of static friction, mu sub s. It equals the ratio of the maximum static friction force divided by the normal force. Substitute the known values to find that mu sub s equals 0 0.40. Now we've pushed hard enough to get the box moving, and we're told that a lesser force, 490 newtons, is required to keep it moving at constant velocity. So now the box is in motion, and friction has changed from static friction to kinetic. Kinetic now because the box is sliding across the surface. If we apply Newton's second law in the horizontal direction now, adding all the forces, we see that it again equals zero, because the box is now moving at constant velocity sideways, so there's no horizontal acceleration. Summing the forces from the free body diagram gives us the pushing force minus the kinetic friction force equaling zero. Solve this for the pushing force and substitute the relation kinetic friction equals mu sub k times n and the normal force equals the weight. Solve this for the coefficient of kinetic friction and substitute the known values to see that it equals 0 0.20, half of the static value. 